Hello guys, welcome back for another video. Today what we're going to talk about is the angel fighting style because there are some new dialogue leaks and some questline leaks as well for the angel fighting style and that's what we're going to talk about today. So it's time. So at 82,000 subscribers, we're going to do a dark blade giveaway and at 85,000 subscribers, we're going to do a permanent fruit giveaway. So if you want to be part of these uh, giveaway subscriber giveaways, all you have to do is to like and subscribe to this video right now and to my channel because our goal is to reach 100,000 subscribers and the only people that could help me reach this goal is you. So don't forget to subscribe, share this video with your friends and don't forget to like and subscribe because we are super close to our sub goal of 82,000 subs subscriber and we're going to do a dark blade giveaway and that dark blade could be yours so all you have to do is subscribe subscribe guys okay so this guy uh, named acsu which if you are a longtime subscriber of the channel we have talked about him before because before um what he did um and he's basically an exploit maker he makes exploits for games uh specifically block suits i think and um he is a pretty good source in my opinion for leaks because being an exploit maker he probably knows more than you and i do so he is i believe the maker of ho ho hub and i'm not really gonna go into detail on what ho ho hub is i'm not gonna go into detail there i'm not gonna explain to you guys what that is and I don't want people to start using it because I recommended it or something like that. Okay, so I'm not gonna mention it here. But yeah, um, he found some he found some effects apparently. And so um, the Z move apparently has this effect. So the the Z move is a like the Z move is, is kind of like a teleport ability. Okay, and this X move right here, uh, according to my oh, my source Sentry, is wrong because the X move works like uh, the Thunder. It works like Rumble. That's what my my other guy told me sentry which did pull the stuff from the game files as well so um the x move is a tell is not a stun it's a tell it's a thunder ability you know a thunder falling down from the sky and it does have um chain effects as well according to sentry and you guys would know this if you watch my previous video about it and then here this is the c move and um, this C move right here is basically kind of like a stun. So it does have a stun. But apart from having a stun, it also is a domain expansion. So yeah. And then there's also an effect when you're holding the ability, the Z ability. So this is an, the effect that you get when you're holding the Z ability, which is kind of insane. Um, this leads me to believe that you are kind of going to transform into an angel or you're going to have like an angel behind you when you're using the Zay ability when you're holding it when you're holding it so for example if you're in block suits right now most abilities they don't have effects when you're holding it but um most abilities in block suits do change what they do if you hold so for example um scarlet tear or actually this isn't a good example because um god human's a better example for but for, with god human if you hold the z move the the sorry the x move it's going to have a different attack compared to if you don't hold the x move so i assume the same is going to be with divine arts so now the most important part of this video in my opinion is going to be where he showed us the quest line the dialogue so he showed us the complete dialogue from dialogue one to dialogue nine so even though he's a exploit maker i'm gonna give him credit here and i'm gonna tell you guys to subscribe to him because he is leaking some pretty important and pretty cool stuff that other people so here um he in this previous video he mentioned that the divine arts will have nine quests or nine parts and then here there are he found out the dialogue so this is um okay so here is the first dialogue dialogue one by the lava's flow a choice you must make toss five fruits unique in the fear lake so this one should be the magma island or the first sea on the first sea or the hot and cold island on the second sea yeah that's probably true in my opinion and then yeah that's pretty good their powers now released in the molten glow embrace the sacrifice at their essence go so this will probably have you sacrificing fruits into um the defire the lava in first or second c which is kind of good in my opinion all right so the second one dialogue two is might be the sand island on the first sea so i already made a video about this a, 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 a long time ago i mean the roaring sea where waves crash and treasure lies seek the island with sweltering skies so this is the sec uh the sand island and dialogue three is rough sea on third sea which i already uh, mentioned as well dialogue four is mirage island dialogue five might be the haunted island on third sea or this uh, um i mentioned this before the haunted island on third sea however um it could also be the pirate um the pirate event 
because um, on an island where a crew once roamed, their legacy hidden but not disowned. But it could be Haunted Island. But it could also be this one event where uh, the shipwreck event. It could also be that. It's very possible. Seek the memorial where their stories reside and honor their memory. So it could also be um, it could also be thirds. It could also be the that event. And then the dialogue six. So this is where we have the new new dialogue because in the last video on made it wasn't complete. We didn't have all the dialogues, but now we have most of it. So dialogue six is um could be Jungle Island. So and uh, it could be Jungle Island. So right here, let's take a look at here. Actually, an ancient jungle of Fos domain, a simian lord of might and rain. So this is probably gonna be a boss. Um, you're probably gonna need to fight a boss with gun and strength. You must attain to end the rule of this primordial bane. This is probably gonna be you fighting a boss or something like that. You're probably gonna need to fight a boss. So, a master of the slow parade. Dialogue 7. A master of the slow parade in armor, but not afraid. So, he doesn't have any ideas on what a Dialogue 7 is, but... Somebody said here in the comments, which I actually will shout out as well. This guy right here. Dialogue 7 is the master of aura since it says a master and in armor, which is technically hockey. Yeah. Um, I agree. Dialogue 7 is probably a, either a new NPC or if it's not a new NPC, it's going to be the Master of Hockey, which is in third C. Very, very, very huge shout out to people that are very smart, like that guy. Um, there's a lot of people out there that are, you know, yeah, just yapping and, you know, giving uh, uh, theories and stuff like that. Some of them miss, some of them are pretty good, and that one was pretty good. So comment down below your theories as well, and it might, you know, be that what's gonna happen. Now, Dialogue 8. Dialogue 8. In ancient walls where whispers echo stands a tree wise and mellow. So, tree on temple of trial. So, in ancient walls, it's pretty much already telling you. Ancient walls. Literally temple, literally the temple of time. Where whispers echo stands a tree wise and mellow. So, it's pretty much um, the ancient, it's pretty much the uh, great tree. Then, um... After you finish it, the last dialogue will tell you to come back to the prehistoric island. Maybe it's the new island. So, well done. Go back to the prehistoric island. Your test of fate awaits. Oh, so, um, they, this prehistoric island could be a new island because there's a um, there's a dinosaur island. There's a lot of leaks. There's dinosaur island leaks. There's dinosaur bone leaks. Um, we're theorizing that there's gonna be a new island where we're gonna fight the dragon boss and stuff like that this could be that island or like i like i always mention in videos it could also be an island in first sea since first sea is um a very 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 old map um it might be referring to that as well like prehistoric it could be referring to something that is very old and yeah your test of fate awaits so there's probably going to be a npc where you're gonna that's gonna test you or something like that and in my opinion just my opinion this is perhaps the most interesting quest line i have ever seen block suits come up with if we could get quest lines like this every single month which shouldn't really be that difficult i would be glad i would be very happy um i mentioned before in previous videos that block suits take so long in order to update and i think they don't really need to take that long to update if they would just release a new sword a new fighting style a new accessory every single month and give it quests like this it would be enough, in my opinion. While they're working on bigger updates, they could release smaller updates that have interesting quests such as this one. It would be very, very good. And there's also going to be a divine and statue. So there's a divine guy, um, which is what my thumbnail is made out of. Okay. So by the way, my thumbnail right now is just Whip Indra with um, six wings or uh, seraphim style wings. And um, that's just my concept on it. And then the statue, I already showed you guys what this looks like. It kind of looks like this, which is thanks to um, some guys that, you know, took these files from uh, fr from the inventory of Sartania as well. So, yeah, there's a lot of stuff that's going to be coming in the next update that we're going to cover in previous videos as well. And here is going to be the topic for the next video. Um, I am very excited to talk about it because I think this is one of um, Dragon Root works moves obviously he has clearly shown to be using the dragon ability here um this could either be the first move uh, after you use the first move it could either be the first move where you launch a beam into the sky or um it could be the third move it could be the third move which is also pretty good or this could be him charging up the beam which in my opinion is also very cool but yeah nonetheless all of this looks re really good right now 
and we're gonna talk about this in the next video which is going to be tomorrow and thank you guys for watching this video there's a lot of good stuff happening in Bloxwoods right now hopefully Bloxwoods doesn't get copyrighted watch my last video as well thank you guys for watching and peace out everybody